to me and girly pops welcome back to the channel today is an extremely 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 exciting day because today we're going to the plt showroom and i i cannot wait i'm so excited i'm going with jaff media which i'm very very grateful for i'm gonna take laura along with me she's gonna help me take some photos and then i think we might go to a like a skincare launch event afterwards so that'll be really fun it's currently Friday, so we're gonna have a nice little long weekend. I don't actually have that much planned for the rest of the week, apart from we're gonna do like a little paint and sip night tomorrow with the girls and hopefully make an Asian fry up on Sunday. Like, you know that girl that did the Chinese fry up about a year ago now on TikTok? Me and Ed have been saying that we wanted to do it for literally probably about a year. <laughs> and we finally think we're gonna do it on Sunday. So it's a little, a fun little weekend vlog, mainly just because I want to show you the PLT showroom and I'm just super excited and yeah, gonna take you along for the ride. Today's fit is a bit of a mishmash but kind of grungy but I just saw something similar on, what do you call it, on Pinterest and I just wanted to recreate. So we've got this top, obviously I wanted to wear something from PLT as well, of course, so the jacket, the kind of main, you know, main event is PLT. So I'm glad that we've got that on there and then this top is from Ego. Urban Outfitters, Urban Outfitters, and then the boots. I'm gonna wear boots as well. Big stomper clumpers, they're from Ego too. I wanted to wear something PLT, of course, so I made the jacket the star of the show, and yeah, let's go see the showroom. We're in Starbucks, we've just come to Oxford Street, but I've realized I don't have any <laughs> So we've been set up. Yeah, so I need to, we're gonna get a coffee to get some caffeine <laughs> kick. <laughs> and then we'll hopefully find the location soon. <laughs> I just walked past it, but here it is. It's so pretty. Oh, oh my god, how did we miss that? How did we miss that? Yeah, we walked through something else. We're in the showroom. It's really gorgeous in here. Got a little DJ deck over there, a little swing, a little motorbike. <laughs> you can drive home on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've just got the new Valentine's collection out and it's honestly so stunning. I really like this red dress as well. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look through and then I'll show you bits that I choose. Tell me your basic. We got the flank steak, which looks so good. With they didn't even ask how you like it, but that's how I like it. So, um, with the green grains, farmers, green, farmers farm grains, grains, the mac and cheese, seasonal mac and cheese, seasonal mac and cheese, <laughs> Laura's on it, and broccoli, sesame, sesame broccoli. Sorry, be as precise. Right, should I try the steak? Actually, love it. Mm. That is so good. The sweet tooth girlies had to get a little little cakey cake. I got a pumpkin one. I'll just try the cream. It's like cream cheese. Oh, not really good. Cheers! <laughs> We're in a little bar called Sophie's, which is just off 15 seconds. Well, I'm excited. I'm going to try it. We've got these little pear martinis. Really good. We just went to an event. I didn't really vlog it because it was very like a low key, but it was fun. We just had some sake, listened to some music, tried to be there. Best smelling moisturizer 
I think I've ever had. It was like a full on spa. It was. We were getting, putting it all over our legs. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really nice. So that was Rufito. I'll just insert like pictures of it now. Yeah, we're just gonna have a little few. Maybe a drink or two here and then. No. Just see where the night takes us. <laughs> just having girly chats. We decided to get some squid and some croquettes because we were hungry and some lighter martinis. Delicious. We are back from an extremely, extremely fun evening slash afternoon. Honestly, this was such a pinch me moment. Like, I really did not think that I would be having a collab with PLT. So thank you to JF Media. I wrote it down in my little, like, manifestation journal for... Well, not manifestation. It was just, like, my, like, goals for 2024 journal. And I just didn't think it would actually happen. And that has happened. So I can't believe that. So I'm going to show you. I was able to get five pieces. I got a coat. Laura was really cold. So she's worn that home. So I don't have that to show you right now. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Which is like a dupe of the diesel ones, obviously. Basically, just a little white bag. I just figured this is so useful. I already have a white bag, but it's, it's more summer vibes. And I feel like this is good as like winter vibes and silver vibes as well. And just more edgy. I think this is more like a an edgy outfit vibe so yeah i really like this and it's a good size and it's got a long strap as well which is useful for when you need a longer strap and it's quite big like i could fit my camera in there and stuff so yeah got a white bag i got this top which i feel like I can't, it's not doing it justice without having it on but it's so cool the girl in there charlie was saying that she thinks it's from the recent modern muse collection with molly may i feel like this black trousers or like a black mini skirt that's more like flared and like black knee high boots would be such a vibe yeah i really really like it and i feel like you could probably because it zips up maybe you could even style it with like something underneath i don't even know but as a top it's really really cool and when i came out and everyone was like that's my favorite i really like that so yeah it's very like sophisticated but just like, trendy just good vibes all around so yeah this little top this dress i don't know if i showed you this dress when i was in there but it's really really pretty and it's such good for like date night vibes maybe i'll wear this on valentine's to be honest but it's yeah really cute for date night vibes it's got little bows here and then it's got obviously like roses and then it's like a bit asymmetric so it's like longer down the end here which is really cute and yeah i just really like it and i thought you could put like a black roll neck underneath it and layer it and do like knee-high boots again it can be good for summer and winter because it's like winter colors but summer style so yeah i really like that got some good content in that and then the other stuff being sent i got this like corset top i don't think i've got pictures in it actually so i'll show you but i got this corset top it's like a halter neck corset and it's got like roses here and it's like a rusty brownie color really nice but it was too big so i'm getting sent a smaller size and then also from that skincare launch just wanted to show you what we got so that's a cute little little, little giddy bag i'm gonna butcher up the pronunciation but i think it's wafito or wafito okay so starting off we have a hand cream which to be honest with you i don't use hand cream but it'll be good you can still sort of smell it though it's got like a foil on the top of it but the moisturizer that was in there was the best smelling moisturizer ever so if this is the same as that moisturizer that's paying i'll just bring it out with me as like a mini moisturizer instead of a hand cream i don't know if you can really do that but i'm gonna do that and then seven stories chocolate now, I don't know if this is actually chocolate or if it's soap or something. It's a mystery to me right now. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, it is chocolate. It's like loads of different types of chocolate. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll try some for this for you in the rest of the vlog. But we've got lemon, Yukon vitamin D. Oh, they're all called different things. So we've got chill, which is Melissa, chamomile, and almond. We've got love, passion, which is maca arginine black pepper we've got oh and it tells you whether it's dark chocolate berry chocolate white chocolate mild chocolate matcha chocolate <gasps> wow i mean it all looks amazing so i'm very happy about <laughs> just spilling it everywhere very happy about that that was everything that i got my little fun day out with law today i'm gonna go to bed now because i'm tired it's literally not even like half 10 this is my idea of a great day going out at 12 and coming back at 10 and i'll see you in the morning for 
some more fun stuff. Good morning. Well, kind of afternoon. It's literally 12. Just in bed. I got Edward a little ring for anniversary present, but it's kind of the wrong size. So we need to exchange it. But I'm currently in the process of booking hotels for fashion week and then we're watching Devil Wears Prada as well so getting very in the spirit for next weekend fashion week I'm gonna vlog it all as well so I'm very excited but yeah this is the ring anniversary ring That's it's cool. she's cute I'm gonna make some protein porridge in a second classic and then we're doing a house today but I'm not gonna really be able to show that because it's someone's house but quite exciting because Edward is looking to buy not me though <laughs> Right, we are halfway through Devil Wears Prada. I'm gonna show you what hotel I book when I decide to book it. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you some protein. We're gonna make some protein porridge as usual. So I got a little delivery the other day and Edward's gonna have the chocolate protein. You're welcome. <laughs> and I'm gonna try the cookies and cream protein. I'm very intrigued by it to see what it's like. I'm not really usually a cookies and cream girly, but I just like to try something new. So I'm gonna put it in my porridge today. Mm. Okay, Look at the steam coming off of these, oh my God. Okay, so we got Edward's chocolate one and my cookies and cream and chocolate one. I only had chocolate porridge, so we're working what we're working with. But yeah, this one's more of a deeper chalky. Let's add the toppings. And breakfast is served. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's try this cookies and cream one, actually, because I'm intrigued. I feel like it's going to be a bit sweeter than the other ones. I'm probably going to burn my mouth off as well, which is always good. I'm very similar to the white chocolate one actually. I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm gonna get ready. Hi there, so I just put this and these are the photos. So this is where I'm gonna stay during fashion week. Kind of covering half of it, but they're like little warehouses and it's really cute. And I'm in warehouse K um, and it's in Shoreditch. And I think a few of the shows that I'm going to are in Shoreditch. So yay, gonna be fun vibe. Whoa, that's kinda nice. But yeah, Yeezys. Okay, we're gonna finish watching The Devil Wears Prada now and I'm gonna put some makeup on, make this face look a little bit, a little bit nicer. And I'll see you when I'm in my outfit. I'm ready, I literally just got inside, just in the nick of time, we've just taken the content. Look outside, <laughs> it's literally raining so much now. Um, I just took the sleeve off because I actually think I prefer the outfit like without the sleeve. It basically comes with like a one arm sleeve, but it's really cute, it's just like a little, a little mini skirt and asymmetric like bandeau vibe. But yeah, I think I'm gonna sell on my vintage just because I don't go to that many places where like I can wear this sort of thing. I don't really go to that. I feel like this would be like a rave, more fancy rave vibe. I don't really know, but she's cute. And my top came from yesterday. I didn't realize I would send it out so quickly. Look how gorgeous it is. It's like a halter neck corset i think i'm gonna wear it on valentine's day just going for a little meal with edward on valentine's day so i think i'm gonna wear that with like a blazer and like black suit trousers and it's just a whole vibe honestly it's so happy with all my bits from yesterday such a little dream we're just off to go view the house in a little khaki number and i've got my new adidas shoes on i think i showed in the last vlog which i absolutely love they're doing me well for sure let's go Looking for our glasses to paint. But you can do like ones like yeah, this. Yeah, that's and, like, nice. Mm -hmm. There's a little martini glass. This is nice as well, actually. You can fit a lot in that. The green. Well, I like the cocktail shaker. That's cool. Hmm. We are creating a little Greek masterpiece. <laughs> very exciting. Got some interesting looking mystery yeah. meat. Some veg. But yeah, gonna be delicious when we're gonna paint and sip. Laura's back and we got Natasha today. <laughs> Dinner is served. It looks tea. It looks so good. Got the satsuki hummus, salad, pulled shawarma, oh. <laughs> flatbread and veg and halloumi. Yay. Cheers.
<laughs> yeah. I can't make this look aesthetic, really, can I? It looks aesthetic from here. Wow. Mm. Look at all the paints. We are painting away. I've gone for a blossom. It's not going to focus on it. There we go. I've gone for a cherry blossom. Laura's gone for lots of multiple fruits. Tasha's one is lovely. Lots of pretty hearts. <laughs> and now she's already on the second one. Did you rub it off? Yeah, it was not good. Oh, I liked it. She's doing dragonflies. But I really recommend doing this. It's really fun. Yay. Look how gorgeous it is. It's not fun. <laughs> wow. A lovely little blossom tree. Very happy. I show, yeah, I showed the, dirt, the dragonflies. They're so pretty. I showed it earlier, actually. Look at that bang average girl. <laughs> Good morning. I've left my camera at Tasha's, so that's really depressing because I'm gonna have to go get it at some point today, which is really sad. But it's Chinese fry up time and it's Chinese New Year as well. So it's actually like perfect. So we have everything laid out. We're gonna do the char siu bacon. We're gonna do, what's the sausage? Oh yeah. We're gonna do hoisin sausages. We're gonna do sesame and soy mushrooms. We're gonna make our own prawn toast. Salt and pepper hash browns and then honey sesame eggs and curry sauce beans. I'm super excited. Getting them going. Got our char siu bacon. I'm just making the prawn paste for the prawn toast. Some mushies and bread over there. This is the prawn toast before we fry her off. Got the hash browns, salt and pepper hash browns going. Gonna make the beans. We've got the, oh yeah, the sausages are wrapped up in there. Look at the prawn toast. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Flipped it, so. Oh my god, I can smell it. Like it smells like the prawn toast. These look so good as well. And the beans. Oh my good, Miss gracious, this looks absolutely incredible. That is actually insane. You've got the honey sesame egg, char siu bacon, curry sauce beans, hoisin sausages. Soy sesame mushrooms, prawn toast, and salt and pepper hash browns. Wow. Look at the inside of the prawn toast. Smash the Wow. Rice. Okay, we finished our fright. Well, we haven't finished our fright because it was so filling, but we're gonna have more for like dinner, lunch later. But Marjo just came in with some fortune cookies because she had a little like Chinese New Year party last night here. So this is a great way to end the breakfast. So we're gonna look at our 14. I'm excited. I actually love 14 cookies. Probably the last time I haven't Neither. Should do it at the same time. Ready? Oh. Oh my god, stop. That's making me really happy. You will age gracefully. Wisdom comes through listening. Wow. You need to listen to house, house people. Mm. You need to listen to the house people. Mm. Yay! Okay, I'm so full now, so I'm probably gonna chill out. I'll show you if I do anything interesting. Right, sheets are changed. Feeling nice and productive now. I'm feeling like clean. I can actually lie in my clean sheets. Look at my hair, it's so frizzy. I feel like this is just heat damage, isn't it? But I don't dry it like with a blow dryer. I just let it dry naturally and it just does this, so. And I put hair oil in it as well, so I don't know. If anyone can tell me how to get rid of that, probably just stop straightening my hair, but <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go get my Galentine's present. This is not gonna go up before Galentine's, so I have Tasha. Little Tasha for Galentine's. So I'm gonna go get her a Galentine's present and a card. And I'm gonna get a card for Edward as well. We're not doing presents because I just got him a ring for our anniversary and I'm actually sending it back because I need to get a different size. So while I'm in town, I'm gonna send that bad boy back as well. 
But yeah, let's go have a look at, I'm gonna look at Sainsbury's because I was in Sainsbury's yesterday and they had a really, really cute little card. So I think I'm gonna get that for both Tasha and Ed because I think it works for both of them, it's really cute. But Sainsbury's usually has a good cards anyway. So I'll show you the card selection that they have for Galentine's slash Valentine's. And then I'll maybe see if there's any presents in there that I could get. If not, I'll just, I'll do it on Amazon. Amazon Prime kind of job because Galentine's is Tuesday and it's currently Sunday, but we only got, we only drew the names for like the secret Galentine's like literally one or two days ago. So. Prime is probably gonna have to be the solution. But yeah, let's go into town now and be productive. There's this really cute shop called I Mind Heart in Town. It's got like loads of like personalized stuff. So I'm gonna look the Galentine's in here. Valentine's cards. Got a lot of selection. I can't currently see the one that I really liked, but we'll have a little, a little gander. And we're back. Of course, so we've got this little card for Edward because we're obsessed with sausage dogs, and it goes out like that. It's so cute. And I got this little card for Tasha because I just thought that was really cute. Very like basic Galentine's y. They had a strawberry one yesterday that was really nice, but I couldn't find it. And then this little guy, he's so cute. Microwavable heart hottie. So it's basically like a hot water bottle kind of vibe where you like heat it up in the, well, where you like heat it up in the microwave. And then it's like really cute. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute. I'll probably get her something else small as well, but. That's my Galentine sorted. Hey Gally Pops, I do apologize that the whole of today's vlog has been on my phone, but as I said, I left my phone at Tasha's house and I've been too lazy to go get it. So I've just sat down <laughs> with two pieces of cake and this is going to be my dinner. And there's no judgment here. This is just how I've decided I want to end the evening, if I'm honest with you. Oh, I had, the, I had some more prawn toast though, because that prawn toast, oh my God, it's so good. I really recommend you making it. She's got a recipe on her TikTok, but basically it's like you do like raw prawns, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and sugar. You mash it all up together. Well, you mean like blend it, but we just sort of like mushed it and we cut it with scissors and that's how it worked. And it obviously was more chunkier than her like paste was, but it, I think it works really well because it was kind of like chunky when you ate it. It was really nice. You do that, then you add an egg and some spring onions. You cut off like the crusts of bread, brush the bread with sesame oil, add the prawn paste on to like cover it all of the bread and then cover it in sesame seeds and then brush that with egg. Although we found that that didn't really work. So we had to kind of like drizzle the egg on top and then add a few more sesame seeds. And then you deep fry it in a pan and poof, mama, it was good. So anywho, I had the rest of the prawn toast and I'm now eating cakes because it's a Sunday, it's the weekend. <laughs> Could do what I want. I'm gonna end the vlog here, but Later, I'm gonna take some content for this Australian skin brand. And I just wanted to show you it because it looks really good, but I don't wanna like ruin the box. Okay, we've just opened it. It's called a pink marine. I know that's gonna be backwards because it's on my phone, but it says pink marine collagen sleep mask. And I think it will help with getting rid of those wrinkly crinklies. Upon waking, your complexion will look rejuvenated and feel hydrated, supple and glowy all day. Wow delivers bouncy and bright skin the very next morning. It just sounds nice. It sounds like it would smell good too. Use it night three to four times a week. Very interesting. I'm excited. Oh my God, I can smell it through the thing and it smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to use that. Right, I'm gonna make my cakes and watch TV and I will see you for fashion week vlog. I can't wait. I'll see you there.